Hello and welcome to this Shopify basic plan features review video where I'm going to be going over some of the features, talking about them, as well as comparing Shopify basic to the Shopify advanced plan. Pretty much they're starting one to one of their biggest. Now, before we continue, in case you're not familiar with the pricing and how they get started, you can actually set up your store and pick a plan later. What I like about Shopify is that actually come with a free 14 day trial and you don't even need a card. So if you want to check that out, I will put a link in the description. Keep in mind at the time of creating this video, they currently have a special deal. I don't want to talk about it too much because it eventually goes away and a lot of people get confused. So feel free to check that out. Now, when it comes to the plans, there is the basic. So best for new e-commerce businesses with occasional in-person sales. I do want to say right off the bat, if you're pretty much just getting started or you only have a few sales under your belt, basic is going to be a phenomenal place to get started. $29 per month isn't a whole lot, especially when it comes to running an e-commerce business or just a business in general. When you compare anything online to doing offline things like, you know, brick and mortar businesses and you got to pay rent and overhead and just there's so many more expenses that go into it compared to like Shopify and an online business. So that's a really good thing. You'll notice that as you continue on, the online card rates are going to decline a little. So with basic, you have 2.9% plus 30 cents, then you have 2.6 and then you have 2.4 in person is going to be a little bit less. So you have 2.7, 2.5 and 2.4. So if we were comparing basic to advanced, obviously, as we talked about, this is going to be the best for new e-commerce businesses with occasional in-person sales and advanced is definitely someone who's more of a grizzled veteran or at least on their way to becoming one best for scaling businesses that require advanced reporting. So if you're in the process of scaling, you're selling a lot, advanced is going to be one of those plans that you're probably going to want to look into, whether it's going to be that or the Shopify one, which is also if you're selling and growing, but really depends on where you are and what you need. So let's talk about that more in terms of the plan features. Let's scroll down. So as you can see, we got a nice little box here. We're looking at the basics. So a lot of these are going to be similar with the check marks. So you get your online store, unlimited products. Staff accounts is going to be different. So it starts off with two, so which isn't bad. You at least get some. Then it goes to five and 15, where that's going to be really helpful if you need that scalability and more staff overall. You're always getting 24 seven support and sales channels. But when it comes to inventory locations, you can have up to four, five or eight. Once again, the biggest for scaling, of course. A lot of these are going to be all checked off which is good. So you get manual order creation, discount codes, free SSL certificate, which is pretty much like fundamental nowadays. I think almost every website is going to need one of those, especially if you want to sell, but it's at least nice that they have it. I've seen like hosting companies that make you pay for it, which is kind of annoying, but uh, abandoned cart recovery, which is good. Gift cards, reports, so you're getting basic standard and advanced, which is kind of, you know, what you accept when it comes to the best gets the best, right? So third-party calculated shipping rates are only going to be for the uh, last plan here, as you can see, which is called the advanced. And then we have customer segmentation, marketing automation, unlimited contacts, and you don't get e-commerce automations for basic, but you do in the other plans. When it comes to shipping, you get discounts up to 77, up to 88, and of course, up to 88. Those are going to be the same. You got shipping labels. Uh, a big thing here is that you don't get priority mail cubic pricing and you don't get parcel select cubic pricing. That's going to be for the basics. So... When it comes to payments, there's going to be fraud analysis, which is always a good thing to have. We talked about the rates previously. Okay, then there's going to be international Amex rates, going to be a little bit different. In person, which we talked about as well, those decline as you move up. And of course, third party fees on transactions not processed through Shopify payments. You have 2%, 1%, and 0.5. Once again, this is a, a pretty big deal, although it's only what 1.5% difference. When you are scaling and doing a ton of sales, that's really going to add up over time. So that's a a big reason why if you're doing a lot of volume, you're really scaling that you'd want to look into the advanced. Whereas if someone who's just starting off, you know, 2% here and there isn't as big deal. But once you really start stacking on those sales, it's going to make a really big deal. Uh, point of sale, you get Shopify POS Lite and you get POS Pro. If you want to add plus 89 a month, it says choose locations to upgrade to POS Pro for faster workflow, staff permissions, and advanced inventory tools. So that's a little bit of an extra. You can upgrade for either or of those, and it's all going to be the same. So international commerce, you get market management, domains and subfolders, language translation, uh, currency conversion, local payment methods, but duties and import taxes and custom pricing by market is going to be for the advanced. Okay. So all in all, when you compare 
the basic to the advanced. It's going to be really simple. Like someone who just started online isn't going to be needing this. It's just too much horsepower, so to speak. There's way too much features and benefits for someone who doesn't need it, who's selling a few items here and there. But you can start off with the basic and then usually you're going to want to go to the Shopify unless you really start ramping things up and need to move to advanced. But obviously you're going to be the co-pilot of your own business and how things are going. So you'll easily be able to see what's going to be best for you. Overall, basic is great for getting started and then you can upgrade going on past there. So that's pretty much an overview of the basic plan and kind of comparing it to the Shopify and advanced Shopify plans. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget they do come with a true free trial, 14 days, no card needed, and I will put that link in the description for you. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video and I'll see you in my next one.